Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to want to put the rest this already because I get a lot of people that ask me this, and it goes without saying, okay? And I'm going to show you even pictures and everything that you need to go ahead and get this through your head. The difference between these independent apps versus these big corporations are servers, okay? Servers. And I'm going to show you what an independent server versus a corporate giant looks like. Okay? Here we go. That right there is a server farm. Okay? That right there, let's see if I can... Okay, you see now that? I'm going to go ahead and make myself disappear. So that way you can get a really clear view of what this is. Those right there are server farms. Those have the capacity to take on all of pe all the people out there who have subscriptions to Amazon or something. They can take on all of that and not buffer. Okay? Take a good look at this place. Okay? I mean, seriously, take a good look at this place. This is huge, right? I mean, this is enormous. All those right there are air conditioners. All these right here, these are all air conditioners. They're cooling down this place. Okay? This right here are the servers. Okay. These are all the servers that are inside there. These are all servers. And everything that you see here is what's inside of a building for, let's say, Netflix, Amazon, and Hulu, because <clears throat> that's what they're running. This is an independent home server. Okay? This is what you will find your TTV, your Cyberflex, your cinema, your Unlock My TV, all those third-party apps, that's what they run off of, okay? Maybe some might be bigger than others, but generally, that's what they run off of. So when you compare two big corporate giants to this, there's a difference. Because I get a lot of people that always say, well, I don't ever have a problem running Netflix or Amazon. Of course you don't. Because those are corporate giants that have all of those big servers and server farms that get those big old electricity bills, you would say. Because you know, it takes those air conditioners time to cool them down. These are independent apps. Okay, these are something that you can see right there beside there. There's a couch. Okay, there's a damn couch right there. There's an arm of a couch. So get it through your head, people. Yes, those are independent servers versus a corporate giant like Amazon. And here's another picture here where they show another servers some are smaller than others as you can see not all of them are going to be big that other one was being very generous hey some of them are very small look here's some servers right here i'm not saying that's what uh netflix is running off of but 10 to 1 some of those apps are running off of these little things okay then you have the big corporations that have these monsters. These are like your malls, extremely big. And what's in those malls are nothing but servers. Okay? Nothing but servers. Look at all that. So whenever you come by and you talk, you say, well, how come Cyberflex or Cinema doesn't run like Netflix because they're not backed up by 
multi-million dollar or multi-billion dollar industries. That's why. Okay? A lot of people ask, and a lot of people say this. So there are other options that you can go ahead and get, and that is one of them is to stay with Amazon, Hulu, Netflix, and all those. Stay with them if you're if you're happy with them. There's nothing wrong with you being happy or content with those type of people. But if you go into third party apps and you're gonna and you're trying to get the fast um, the, those latest movies and everything, and you think it's going to be that fast, it's not, okay? And it also depends on your speed at home. If you are running off of some hotspot and you think, oh, unlimited data on my phone is going to go ahead and um, I can watch everything because it's unlimited data, <laughs> your cell phone will throttle. The company will see what you're doing and they will throttle you. In other words, they're gonna slow you down. It has nothing to do with the fire stick at all. If you are running old equipment, okay, if you run an old router or modem, whatever you want, all your all in one, router, modem, Wi-Fi, all in one. If you're running something and this tends to be anything past two years old then that's most likely your answer. Get new equipment. If you're going to be running new tech with old tech, it's going to clash. Another thing, if you are getting the bottom of the line internet and you are running something that, I don't know, just say five megabytes per second, and you're wondering why it's not working, it's because you're not getting high-speed internet. Because you have to have high speed, okay? You have to have it. That's just bottom of the line. You have to have high-speed internet to run third-party apps, okay? So, as you can see, there's some, look, here's another, somebody put some love to that. See, there's a server here, and they've cleaned it up. Now, I'm not trying to scold you people, but I just really want y'all to get it through your heads and to realize if you're wondering why third-party apps do not run as fast as um, major corporation apps, I just answered the question. They have huge servers. That's, that's just bottom of the line. And if you're asking these people that are running these free apps to go ahead and get bigger servers, then they're going to start charging. Just like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, YouTube, all of these people that have these gigantic mall size servers. Okay. So I hope this answers the question. Because I'm really getting sick and tired of hearing it. <laughs> and for those people that are just getting on here, I'm sorry if I'm just such a bitchy mood about this, but you wouldn't believe how many times I have heard this simple phrase of, I never get this type of buffering when I watch Amazon. Hulu, Netflix, Sling, or any of those apps. HBO Max, they, they always say that they never get, you know, slowed down. And it's because, again, I have to repeat myself so that way y'all can get it through your heads. There's probably going to be people that now you're going to finish this video. <clears throat> please, 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 please. Boost your internet. Um, do not use a I'm getting stressed out already. Do not use a hotspot. Please go ahead and get you an internet, uh, a good internet service. Get you a VPN. Get real to bread. 
there's all these things that you can do to go ahead and cut the cord. So that being said, everybody, I hope that you found this information useful. Sorry if it sounds like I'm really bitching, but I'm really tired of answering this question. So, y'all have a good day. I hope everything goes well and happy.